Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today we will be learning about XSL transformation in the 13th session of Oracle SOA tutorial. XSL transformation is a very important concept of Oracle SOA. XSL stands for Extensible Style Sheet Language, which is a styling language for XML. And XSLT stands for XSL transformation. In practical, XSLT is majorly used to transform input messages based on certain requirements certain business logics transforming those messages into output messages xslt is a very powerful language and can transform very complex data as well and can take care of very complex requirements as well however today we will be using a very basic example of concatting first name and last name and returning complete name using xslt there is a note there that means X path is a very important concept that everyone should be knowing if they want to work with XSLT and they want to take care of complex requirements of XSLT. So if you guys want me to make a separate video on X path, do let me know. So let's create a SOA project. Let's give it a name as XSLT demo. And We'll create a schema which will have two inputs and one output, first name, last name, and output as a complete name. And I have shown how to create XML schemas in my previous videos as well. So I will not be wasting much time here. And we'll give it a name as XSLT demo. And once we have this uh, schema created, we'll create a Beeple process. We'll give it name. XSLT demo Beeple process. We can give any name you want. We'll create it as a synchronous process where in input we will choose uh, schema's input element and as an output we will choose schema's output element. And XSLT is just like any other activity of Beeple which can be found under uh, Beeple components. We'll type XSLT here in the search bar and we will be able to see that XSLT transformation transform activity is there we'll give it an appropriate name here and i usually give name as map but it's absolutely your choice which name that you want to give and as we can see our screen as well that we have option for input variable and output variable so we'll select input variable first which will be having first name and last name as the elements and we'll select the target variable as the output variable which will have an element complete name so let's do that once we click on apply as we can see that there is a dot xsl file has been created where we have source and target so if we right click on target we will be able to see a lot of operations a lot of functions that can be performed on target as per our requirement, we will use string function and concat function of string. Here we have two parameters that we can pass by default. However, we can increase the parameters by clicking on this plus icon. So we want to have a space between first name and last name. That's why I have added additional uh, option, a parameter and in middle of the first name and last name we have just put a space there we will save the map and we can also go to source to check how the coding is done for this particular here we can see that we have first name then a space and then the last name and the best part of xslt in uh, soa is that we can test it offline like i'm doing at the moment We'll click on this test. We'll generate a source XML which will have the dummy data. As you can see on the left, we have first name one, last name two. We can give any name that we want to test it. We will have to save it and then we'll test it and click on OK and we'll override the changes that we did for the source XML. So now in the target, as you can see that it has successfully concatenated first name and last name. So our XSLT is working absolutely fine. So now let's deploy it and see if it is working in WebLogic server as well. So I'm going to fast forward this and it is deployed now. Now we'll log into EM console and under SOA Infra, 
we will go to the deployment deployed composites where this recently deployed service should be there that we just created and as we can see we have this sslt demo and now we'll test it and let's give it a first name and last name a different one this time so let's give it a name peter and parker as i have been playing a lot of spider-man on my ps due to this lockdown so peter parker let's click on test web service and the output should be peter parker with a space in between here we go so it is working absolutely fine as expected and this is it guys so this was a very simple example of xslt how you can use it if you want me to cover any other complex example any issue that you are facing in your respective projects you do let me know as you can see in my previous videos as well i do take uh, suggestions and i do try to resolve the issues of the of my subscribers if they if they email me my email will be in the description box and so this is it for today guys take good care of yourself you stay in home and it stay safe protect yourself protect your families as well it's a very hard time that we're going through at the moment but if we stick together i'm sure that things are going to get better every day so take care Bye-bye.